Hola Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of June 22nd to June 28th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading and send me an email so we can set that up. If you are on YouTube, make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will include love, career, finance, and health. In my playlist are my 2020 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign, which is a work in progress? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get you reading for this week. So this is kind of interesting. I feel like you're going to be dealing with a difficult individual <laughs> this week. Um... And it, it all happens very quickly. So prior to June 22nd, I see you out. Um, I'm not going to say out. I'm going to say socializing. That does not have to mean physically socializing. Um, well, it can be. It can be six feet apart or, or whatever. Whatever you do. I'm not getting into that business. But I see you socializing, lifting your cups up. Could be hanging out with friends. Could be networking with um, coworkers. Um, whatever. It's a, it's a cel going out, celebrating you know, overindulging, everyone's really harmonious, they're connecting, they're talking. And out of that comes a romantic offer. Okay, so I feel like somebody's interested. And they say, Hey, you know what, winky, winky, I'm kind of interested in you. Um, there's this emotional connection that kind of happens. So this is kind of a, a love reading, I'm not gonna lie. So it could be you or the other person. And, um, you know, really interested in kind of like, you know, getting together. It's very romantic, the butterflies, all of this stuff. And it happens because of whatever this event is that you, um, you attend with other people. Now, the problem is that the week of June 22nd, you're starting to realize that there's problems with this person. I'm going to say more like psychological. Um, we have a moon card here in the upright. So you're kind of seeing they're not acting right. You're kind of figuring out through your intuition that, you know, things about them aren't really lining up quite right. They aren't acting right. They aren't behaving right. Um, you think there might be in something inside of them, you know, like they're disturbed in some way. And like I said, you know, mental disorder, psychological disorder, something in that regard. Um, and, and it's hidden from you. So I feel like they hide it really well, but you still kind of know that it's there. I do think that whatever it is, is actually linked to their family. So it could have been how they were brought up. Maybe they weren't brought up in a secure home. Um, maybe they were raised by, you know, parents that were fighting all the time. Maybe their children were divorced and that manifested itself in negative ways. Maybe they were a latchkey kid, you know, maybe they were neglected. Whatever it is, I feel like it came from the home. So so as they were being raised, that just kind of continued to, um, you know, build some core beliefs and some unhealthy attachment behaviors. And I feel like it's going to be really prevalent in the third week of June where you're going to be kind of taken aback from it. Um, but as I said, it's kind of hidden. So I don't think you're entirely sure. I think you have a sense of it. Um, but I don't think anything has overtly happened to kind of um, scare you off yet. So after the week of June 22nd, this is where you get scared off because now it, it really becomes more, um, more obvious, more overt in their behavior. So with the judgment card reversed, you're seeing that their judgment is off. Okay. Um, they're not, you know, their perspective when they, when they look at things, they look at situations, they don't kind of look at them right. They use their judgment incorrectly. Um, you, but you also know that they need to work on taking care of themselves and loving themselves and forgiving themselves because I think, you know, they have stuff that, that has kind of messed them up in a way. Um, but you see just how they're viewing stuff. So now it becomes more readily apparent as you move out of the third week of June and they are starting to, um, do things so their behavior is manipulative like mentally manipulative they're starting to like they play mind games to try to manipulate things um they try to manipulate you or put you under pressure to kind of do what they want um they seem uh you know really competitive like they they want to win all the time every time you you guys engage they want to be right all the time and um you know they're they're just constantly conning and manipulating so and being very dishonest um the king of swords reverse can be dishonesty and he can also say things that aren't very nice okay so they they might say a few things that are a little cutting a little biting and i think this is where you realize that this person is not the person for you and i also feel like you don't want to continue with them so um to be continued i guess next week if this resonates for you 
If it does, consider a personal reading and send me an email. If you're on YouTube, click the link below for the weekly extra, which will have your love, career, finances, and health. In my playlist, 2020 Sun Moon Predictions, what is your ideal career? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.